All right, today we are going to draw and paint sunflowers like Vincent van Gogh, okay? So I will be using a Sharpie to show you how to draw this or um, give you an idea of what to draw, but you will be using a pencil and you will be trying your best to draw really, really lightly, okay? I'm using Sharpie so that you can see what I am doing. <clears throat> so you have your vase and your vase can be any shape that is up to you. This marker is a little bit dry, but that's all right. We're gonna roll with it, you can still see it. So once you have your vase, you should still have a good chunk of paper um, from the middle up to uh, draw your sunflowers. So what I'm gonna start doing is, I know that I want these to be big. I want them to fill the page, just like Vincent van Gogh's did when he painted his. So I'm gonna draw a circle for one of my first sunflowers, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to draw the petals. So you'll see here, my petal doesn't come to a point because my page is ended. That is okay. It's almost like the petals are falling off of the page. So I'm just gonna keep drawing petals, and it helps me if I just rotate my paper like this so that I can try my best to make all of the petals about the same size. But you'll notice in Vincent van Gogh's work that not all of his flowers or petals were the same size because that's not how sunflowers look in real life. So that is absolutely okay if they're not all the same size or if you make a mistake, it is no big deal. So here's a pretty big sunflower and I wanna fill the whole vase. I'm gonna put another one right here pretty close. You get to decide where you um, draw your sunflowers. And you'll see, it looks like this flower petal is tucked behind that first one. I do not want to cross my lines because we will be painting these um, and I won't be able to cross the paint. So again, I ran into a petal that was already there. So I'm just gonna close that off. There we go. Okay, so there's two. I'm gonna put one maybe down here. You'll see in his work that we looked at uh, before that some of his sunflowers are a little droopy. They kind of droop from the vase down. So there's one of those. And then maybe I'll put one more right here. And maybe this one will be a little guy. That'll be a little, a little sunflower right there. So now that I have my flowers, and again, you can add as many or um, as big, small, you can, you can really fill up your page, um, but this is where I'm gonna stop, okay? And now I need to add the flower stems. So to do that, I'm just gonna find an opening between two petals and draw a thin, almost rectangular shape for the stems, and I'm gonna do that from all of the flowers I drew. So again, that's a droopy one. Maybe this guy is a little, little droopy as well, okay? So that is what you are going to be doing today. Again, you get to choose where you're gonna be drawing your flowers. If you make a mistake, it is not a big deal. Not only are we working in pencil, but remember that Vincent van Gogh's work had petals and sunflowers of different sizes and shapes.